friends and welcome to my desk. Today I wanted to give you a flip through. I have all of the things out right now and we had just finished our first trimester. I wanted to give you a flip through of what's inside this planner. When you open her up, we have the beautiful quotes. I do have a little bit of food, water spill on there because, well, I'm always in the kitchen. We homeschool in the kitchen, so it kind of becomes inevitable. My name there. Here I have added birthdays. I did want to add the funny days of like donut day and a couple of weeks ago it was national Sunday and daughter day but there was just so many I decided not to and I decided not to repeat it birthdays on this page if something comes up like a pregnancy or something like that I will definitely add it there quotes again and then I have just all the subjects I decided to use this year and we have the beginning of my people's section. Now this is a section that I love and don't at the same time. I love this section, but there's a lot of pages I'm just not using to their full potential. This one has a year at a glance per student. So first up I have my oldest. We um, have slowly started to fill in these boxes when I find the time to. When I first set this up, I did quotes, and I added in moments to remember, her speech words, and then I just added a little bit of a progress report there that I had with her speech teacher not too long ago. This page, I thought I was going to add some things in school-related, but instead I decided to do Abby from Rooted and Rest, her beginning of the year interview with her kids these are the questions she asks and so I thought I would do the same and I loved it and it worked out perfectly and then we have another calendar here to begin the next student we have Austin and again we kind of fill these out when we decide to or if something comes up then I have quotes for him. He is not in speech. And then I have moments to remember for him. He just built a Lego robot. That was awesome. And I wanted to remember that. His answers for what he said for his beginning interview of the year. And we just keep doing the same thing. I just, I love this page and all the potential, but we don't keep attendance. I'm not required to in the state I currently live in. So I'm not quite sure... This page to me is not useful. Dylan is here. Things to remember, quotes, and she has a lot. You can tell we're ending in the ink and ing and then the G ending sound in her progress from the other day. This is her beginning of the year interview that I absolutely love these questions and I will definitely be doing them every year now. And I don't know if you saw, but I just had to put the age of the kid at the start of the school year. Questions. Now, Immersion is my three-year-old. We don't too much. She has a lot of quotes right now that really are just so fun. She says, mm, 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 mm. And to her, for some reason, that means I love you. And then she talks about her age and how she's going to be four soon. And then these were her answers. I love that she said snacks are her yummiest food. And that is so true and fits her personality so much. As we move in, we have map your year section. And in this section, I love, I ended up staying with our week. I write little notes as we like begin or end curriculum when people are in town. I also use this to mark birthdays and then I also decided to erase if you can't tell some because we were not on track as what I thought we were and so I'm gonna start planning per trimester compared to the whole year and hopefully that will help 
In the back, I'll show you to where I need to fix a few things. I just marked that it was the end of the trimester. This week, we're gonna be home. We were supposed to be on vacation, but decided not to, so we're just gonna do minimum work, catch up on a few things, and then we'll take the end of the week off because it is my daughter's birthday. And then I marked other kids and family members' birthdays there. And that goes on for a couple more pages. Now we're in the monthlies. This is what June looked like. This year I've kept our monthlies quite simple. My mother culture section, I did do our schedule at the beginning of the year and when I kind of wanted to just see what would work and what wouldn't work as well as our book list and I was going to use a section for reading and reading and felt like it just wasn't worth going back to. I may go back to it depending on how I decide to plan the next trimester though. And now we're moving into July. I used a little bit more stickers so it seems a little bit more full I feel like with the stickers. I filled out Mother Culture and again like a schedule just trying to find our groove for the month. I do feel like month to month it has been changing. We read more books. I left that completely blank this month as well as we did add a few quotes in which I kind of just absolutely love. This is the August month and I try to use some washi tape. I just have been trying to spend more time in my actual planner and because I do love to be in it and spend time with it. I use this as our six week update and just notes that I wanted to remember, book list and quotes from those books. We read, we, we read The One and Only Ivan, and it was such a good book. Here is September. And again, I'm using a little bit more stickers just because it gives it more of a fuller look, even though it's super simple. These stickers represent my daughter's speech days. And Mother Culture on this side. We didn't really change our schedule, so I didn't put anything on this page. And then our book list, we read a ton in September, if you cannot tell. And uh, we read a lot every month. I just don't always put it here when it comes to like random books that the kids just bring me and I read with my littles. But we read a lot and had planned a lot of reading because it was fall and we just did a lot of reading. I did not put any quotes though. And then we move into October. So that's where we're at right now. I have it all set up and again with a little bit more stickers. I have filled out my mother culture section. And I think, I think I might put another schedule down just because we are starting a new trimester and I want to change things up a little bit. So that will be a video to come. Some books that we have already read or plan to read. I put this history and science little section here of the books that we're reading for that. And I do have already a couple quotes because we are reading The Wild Robot and love it. The robot who is Roz says, please leave your droppings. So I made some funny faces. My kids thought that was hilarious. And that's what I have thus far for our monthlies. Moving on to weeklies, this is what I have done thus far, and as we flip through this, you're going to see a lot of different ways I have planned. To be quite honest, I am still trying to figure out this layout. So, to begin with, we took a very slow start. So, this was our week one of school. This was week two. And then I realized... I really wanted to work on a character building trait that week. So each week is gonna, you'll see something new. And I started with Bible, Jumpstart, Littles, History, and Bigs. 
my days of the week has been consistent up at the top. Then I sometimes have notes on this side. This week, again, is about the same. A lot of open spots. And then, I do not remember why, but we took the first week off. And so you'll just see Wednesday and Thursday here. Next up, we have our blessed week. And I do try to remember to put the actual date that is the week but you can tell I've switched things up now I have littles I put jumpstart included our bible history and art and then I have Austin and Lily in their own separate columns and then I added history for the beginning and then science at the end good choices week now we read a book um, or we were reading a book it was a veggie tale book and so each it's a different veggie tale book every week and so we try to work on a new character trait that that book has in it this week i have tried to start really mapping out what i want to get done so these are like my goals for the week and then we go into the week i'm back to my littles and my bigs here i truly haven't figured out my favorite way to use oh, this lesson planner i definitely have been experimenting a lot with it last year I didn't use a lesson planner the year before I did and so I'm really just trying to remember what works for me what doesn't many of the days like this week I don't know why we didn't have a Thursday and Friday I have like even on this one too I skipped Friday basically there's nothing here I've been trying to do more of a record keeping but I also need like this page I also need this was last week my um goals and so when I have my goals here the week is definitely more filled in and I just need to remember that so this was the last week we were in this for this semester and I definitely love the way it turned out and need to remember how I did it how I set it up the reasons why and move forward from there as we move <laughs> back into the records section you can see i still have not done much with the lessons at a glance i'm really tempted to tear this page out but i haven't quite decided if i want to yet we just i just didn't keep up with it this was a section that i felt like if i would have planned a little bit better or stuck to my plan in a in the beginning of the year it would have worked out but I just didn't we changed too much and so I'm not quite sure about this although I have seen people just do it in their like quarters and they highlight it and I love that idea so I'm tempted to do that because there, she gives you quite a few of these pages to plan with so I'm tempted to start new with that we have a reading list and I did keep that the same. I haven't really added much. I've crossed off the books that my daughter has been reading as well as my son. He did pick a different book that's not on this list for his read his independent reading, I'm sorry. Um, and so I do need to add that. And then books that I want, which I realize I haven't been using this as well, well either. I just end up adding it to my Amazon cart and it kind of just gets purchased purchased here is another checklist and kind of almost a lessons at a glance I just write what workbook or curriculum my child's using and we mark it off as we go and this I have if you can't tell been using and I absolutely love it My son Austin, who will finish his math three, and we're on math four now. Finished his level one spelling, now he's on level two. Same thing with my daughter. Finished three, she started four last week, 
and her math she's moving along in that as well and there is more checklist if needed for that we have future curriculum notes which I I know it's early y'all but I have some things to add there I added this because it goes into passwords and contacts so I thought I would just save that information as private because it is and then this page in the back is also a tracker page and I have not used that one, but I love the option that it's there then it goes into the notes section and she gives you a table of contents for this I just filled out kind of like my vision board my word this year is consistency and I feel like we have been and we haven't been all at the same time I don't even know quite how to explain it but then on the back I added some Bible verses we've been memorizing and I will add to that throughout the year as well as the curriculum we are using for this school year I have some fun Friday ideas and I haven't filled out the rest of the note section and that is my planner flip through for the first trimester of the 2020-2021 school year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I will love to answer them. Don't mind my purple fingers and we'll talk to you soon. Bye friends.